guys and welcome to today's video. Today's video is actually a video I've been meaning to shoot for a while. I'm wearing no lipstick and I have a few lipsticks sitting here in front of me. I basically went shopping for five lipsticks all under 140 rupees. I realized I want to do more content for you guys over here that's very very budget friendly and uh, I thought that I should go ahead and try these lipsticks out. Some of these I have tried in the past but I want to retry them, come to you with an instant first impressions, tell you what I think of them. Of course we will add price tags for everything and I'll link all of the products as usual down below in the info box but I'm excited to do this. These are not products I received in the PR. I went ahead and purchased these myself. I felt like I want to do more of this because this is the best way in which I can come to you with different brands that I'm trying for the first time and my thoughts on them. So let me not make this intro any longer and let's dive right into it. Okay, so I have the five products right here in front of me. I'm going to go one by one. Uh, I'll tell you about what the application was like. I'll give you a little bit about the shade and I'll just give you these quick first impressions that I have in mind. I have five of them over here and I feel like I should start off first with the Miss Claire Chubby Stick. This is a product I have heard about. Um, I have not tried this particular one before, so I'm very excited to give it a spin and see what it feels like on my lips, how easy the application might be, and just overall the color payoff and everything else. Okay, so quickly first thoughts. I have the Miss Claire Chubby Stick over here. The first thing that I noticed is that the bullet, the nib of this particular chubby stick is rather long. Usually chubby sticks come with a slightly shorter, more pencilish nib. This one is really nice and long, which means there's that much more product in here. Um, I was expecting a slightly darker color to be on my lips just because the packaging is a little more potent with the color. There is great pigmentation and color payoff. I'm not debating that at all, but I was expecting for it to be slightly darker however i do like this shade a little more because i feel like it's got that really nice uh nudie mauve finish that will be really great to wear on a daily basis the finish of the product on my lips is really nice really lightweight it's really soft matte and has an almost not lip balmy texture but a soft creamy um finish I can barely feel it on my lips, which is a huge bonus. I'm a huge fan of lightweight products. And I tried to kind of kiss my hand and see what the transferability is. There's definitely a little bit of a stain on my hand. But within this price category, I would be surprised or shocked rather if something didn't stain on my hand or was transfer proof despite this price category. So I kind of like it. This is something that I will recommend because the price obviously makes it really, really worth it. And the product seems really nice too. I have tried a few of Miss Claire's other lipsticks which have been really nice. I used to wear a lot of Miss Claire I think when I was in college. So it's definitely something I'm gonna go ahead and give the thumbs up to. On to the next lipstick now. Okay, on to lipstick number two and may I please say that I'm a little bit sad. I was expecting to maybe go ahead and like all five of these because I'm always looking for budget friendly options for you but I don't like the one I'm wearing right now. Right now on my lips I have a lipstick from Wet n Wild in the shade What's Up Doc in um, basically also quoted as E515D. I think What's Up Doc is easier to remember. The minute I apply this I'm feeling like a weird tingling sensation on my lips. I don't think this is normal. Um, apart from that, the lipstick bullet is really weirdly tilted. And when I'm closing it down, it's leaving lipstick stains all across the rim of, um, of the lipstick. This does not seem entirely normal to me. I don't love how um, just my first instant experience with this lipstick has been. Sure, it's pigmented, but I don't like how it has that slightly reflective, not shiny, but that reflective um, feel. You know what I mean? It's like, it's not a strobe, it's not a lip gloss, it's just a slightly really old school 80s, 90s style lipstick. Not a fan, going to give you very honest reviews over here, so I don't love it at all. But giving you guys a close-up of the color, let's see if this one is... Yep, okay, this one is a lot more less trans... lot more less? This one is a lot less transfer proof. A lot more color came off, basically. I don't know if you can see, um, but not impressed at all. Really sorry. Okay, and I'm back to being happy with lipstick number three. This one is from L18. It is in the shade Magenta Magic. I really like how easy it was to wear. I particularly love how the slanted bullet made the application really nice and easy. 
very nice and pigmented not completely even but of course then again it's 100 bucks so you feel like that's a small compromise to make you might have to double stroke in a few patches um let's see how where can i also not transfer proof this time i'm trying to swatch it in a place i can easily show you um not transfer proof again not expecting that in this price category but i'm testing it just so you know um but i like it i feel like even after the transfer proof like after the kiss on the hand happened i still have quite a bit of pigment on my lips so it's not disappointing on any standard did not leave me with any kind of stinging it's creamy it almost has that lip balmy texture on the lips but it's nice it's nice it's something that i would recommend for sure um and i'm glad i picked it up in this color i've tried to do a little bit of shopping across different colors so i'm glad i picked it up in this color it's something that i might land up wearing again soon too yep i'm happy <laughs> it's lightweight it's almost moisturizing on the lips um it is something that you can totally wear but you might have to touch it up every couple of hours because of how the color comes off or when you're eating and drinking something there will definitely be some transferability so keep that in mind as well when you're buying it okay i'm on to lipstick number four and i feel like i'm the happiest so far with this one i really really like the color payoff guys this one is from vov and it's in the shade 27 stardust it applied really beautifully. The color payoff is beautiful, very, very pigmented. What I also really like is that the packaging is unique as compared to the others. It has this almost like crystal like appearance. Of course, it's plastic, it's not glass or anything, but the packaging is attempted to look very luxe, which I appreciate. Um, it has a beautiful bullet and all of that, but just as a product it seems to be really great it glided onto my lips really very easily so it's moisturizing but it has that slightly slippery quality about it i would recommend a lip primer before this one uh, it does have a very reflective quality about it as well but it's not reflective in a cringy way like that other one like the wet and wild one the, the reflectiveness was a little bit cringy for me this is nice this looks like it's glass and you know it's sort of like bouncing the light off my lips uh, maybe it's because it's looking really good in a red i'm not sure but i feel like this is nice um i like it let's oh yeah for sure lots of uh, pigment has been transferred on my hand over here but at the same time again like i mean even though it's getting transferred it's not losing it from the lips which is a really great thing i i like this i feel like it's a really pretty red i feel like it's a lovely color and i feel like application was really really easy and great so this one is going on my recommendations list from a first impressions point of view lipstick number five okay i think i'm in love with this one it is so nice and pigmented it is very very matte it takes about 15 seconds to dry down to come down to being as matte as it is right now this is from a brand called blue heaven from the elegance matte lip color range strangely so it doesn't have a shade okay it's on the top it's a shade 08 i love love this particular lipstick i think it is my favorite from all the five it oh wow zero there's zero 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 pigment here Okay, this is really impressive. I told you I would be surprised or shocked if something actually was transfer proof from this. Um, it took a little bit, like about 10-15 seconds to dry down. It's a very, very matte shade as you can see. This is almost as matte as a MAC or a Huda. This is like amazing. I'm very impressed. It's the only liquid lipstick I realized from my set and clearly I guess this is why li liquid lipsticks have my heart. Even on a budget, they manage to impress you. Um, I think this one wins if there was like a competition of these five going on over here I feel like this one would win it um, it just seems really nice it's very pigmented it's not patchy at all I outlined my lips and then I applied in with the application and filled it all in um, I love the color I also feel like a hot pink is a shade that can go really like weirdly wrong sometimes like it can be too neon-y or have a weird undertone i feel like this particular pink is going really well with my skin tone uh, so if you're around my skin tone i feel like you should try this shade out for sure i mean just for fun i feel like i should try to rank these particular lipsticks that i have tried out today no points for guessing this would be at the top of my list um i feel like the miss claire would rank at a number two 
I feel like the VOV would probably go at a number three. Um, the L18 would go at a number four, and then. Frankly, the Wet n Wild wouldn't go at all, but only because I have to put something on the fifth. The Wet n Wild would go on fifth. Okay, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a first of its kind, uh, kind of a video for me where I'm testing lipsticks out that to on a budget of a hundred and forty rupees, which is really rare to land up loving something like that. I'm going to be reaching out for this baby so much more. I promise. Uh, I should probably get more of them and do like a full swatch video for you guys. Let me know what you think of that down below in the comments. And uh, if you want me to do other categories on other budgets, let me know for that as well down below in the comments. I hope that by now you've turned those bell notifications on so you are reminded of all of my upcoming videos. I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Bye.